Hey, hi everyone. So today I'll be sharing with you some of the things that I learned using uh, Ubuntu. So some of the commands and some of the best practices for me. Okay, so let's take a look. So firstly, when you are at the, this Ubuntu screen, there are a few things you can do. So first, you need to bring up the terminal window. You can click on activities, then you click CMD, type CMD. So this is what you can do. You can bring up the terminal window. Or you can actually save it as a favorite. So click on CMD. You can actually drag it out and put it at the side panel. Okay. So every time you go to the main screen, you can just click on this terminal. So that's pretty useful to me. Okay. So first, I will show you how to log in as a root user. So as you all know, root user is very powerful. They can do. If you are a root user, you can do a lot of things. So to log in as a root user in Ubuntu is slightly different from other OS. So let's take a look. So the command is sudo minus i. Then you log in as a root. So sometimes you also prompt you for the password. So you just clean the password. And if you want to exit out of this root user, you can just type exit. Okay. So if you want to log into another user, I mean in this case there's only one user, so when you exit out from a root user, you will go to this current user. So if let's say you want to log in another user, what you can do is uh so first I will log in as a root user first. So if you let's say you want to log out uh you want to log back in as a Ubuntu user, what you can do is sudo or su in this case. And if you want to add a new user, what you can do is sudo user add user1. Okay, so how do you know whether you have created this user? What you can do is you go to this uh, directory where all the username and password are being stored. So you see, user1 is being created. Okay. So you can click clear to clear it. And let's say you want to delete user one. What can you do? Type user and type sudo user delete user one. So now the username is deleted. Okay? So if you click the arrow up, you can actually go back to the previous commands that you have used. So that is a pretty good trick. So clear. So let's say you want to set a password. So right now by default there's no password for each user. If you want to create a password, you have to type in this command. But before that, because we have deleted the previous uh, user, so you have to create back first. So what you can do is uh add back the user. user1 and you set the password so password user1 and the new password is can take it so now the password is updated successfully so to verify whether you have the password you can go to get etc And oh, this is where you see the username and password, but you won't be able to see the password hash, you will just be an X. Okay, so to see the password hash, you have to go to this folder. Okay, permission denied, so you have to log in as a root user first. Then you run the same command again.
So as you can see, the user one has this uh, password hash. So it's pretty long. So as you can see, the password has been updated. Okay. So if let's say you want to list the user accounts in the home directory, what can you do? You can go to list la home. As you can see at the home directory, these are the user accounts. So user one is actually not uh, included over here. So what you can do is move user one into this home directory. So you can do user mk home dir helper user one. So let's run the same command again. You can see here user one is now in the home directory. But of course, you can also delete a user from this home directory as well. So what you can do is sudo trim remove um, user1. So let's run again. You can see here, now user1 has been deleted from this home directory. Okay, so you sometimes you realize that I use a sudo. So sudo stands for super user. And you can use this command for those users that is not a root. So sometimes you do so you don't have to keep logging to root every time. So some actions you can actually use sudo to do it. But of course certain actions still requires root to perform. Okay, so by default you can use your current user, just put a sudo in front. But if you if they say permission deny, then you log in as a root user. Okay? So that's all I have for uh, for you. So as you all know, I'm also still learning. If you know there are some commands that you can do it better, do let me know. Do drop me in the comment section below. And I will continue to share more useful commands with you guys in the future. Okay? So thank you everyone. I will see you in the next video.